Set yourself up for the trading day ahead. It's great to have your company with us on trading day this morning. Get expert analysis of overseas market moves and their impact here. Really big whack in the overnight session. Find out where today's action will happen. Do you think there might be any pockets of relief? Breaking down what to watch and why. All eyes, of course, on the Aussie dollar. For your best sense of what the market will do every day. We begin the hour with breaking news. Trading day, the countdown on your money. Welcome to Your Money Live, helping you get more out of your money. I'm joined tonight at the desk by Breakfast Day host, Leanne Jones. Thanks very much for switching the early mornings for the evenings, Leanne. Oh, thank you so much for having me along. I'm so looking forward to what is set to be a great show Definitely. tonight. Absolutely. I think we, uh, we leave the best to last, isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick it all off with what's making news. And Myers woes are intensifying. The company shares suspended from the stock market. Well, Australia's fourth largest bank is back in the headlines with the NAB CEO, Andrew Thorburn copping a hefty pay cut whilst the lender also deals with a report of alleged fraud on the bank. Well, we're very pleased to welcome Tiki Fullerton, host of Tiki, who's here in the studio with us. Tiki, of course, in the, the wake of the revelations, the damning revelations that have come out of the Banking Royal Commission, mm. another executive has taken a pay cut. Mm. How have they explained it this time? Well, private hospital coverage has fallen to its lowest level since 2009. So why are Australians turning away from private health? Hello and a warm welcome to the Best of Media Week as we take a look back at the big stories and themes that dominated the year in Australian media. This is Tiki. Hello, I'm Leanne Jones filling in for Tiki Fullerton this evening. This is Sky News Real Estate. Well, Sydney has seen a new low in the property market with our first annual fall in prices since 2012, but home prices in Sydney are still the most expensive in the country. Live on Sky News Business, this is Business Breakfast. Good morning and a pleasure to have your company on Business Breakfast this morning. We're 6am here in the East. I'm Leanne Jones. We are watching Wall Street regaining its momentum, rising there for a second day as bond yields and volatility help the market bounce back from its worst week in two years. Let's get a check in on the US market there. We have 30 minutes left of trade or just under 30 minutes in fact and uh, we are seeing markets pairing some of those losses actually into the later part of the session. You can see still under some pressure. Is there an opportunity do you think for lower level diplomats now to go in at, at this point once obviously everything calms down and uh, this news passes and everything is kind of under the bridge do you think there's a chance perhaps for some of those lower level diplomats to go in there to try and rework perhaps some of the parts of the agreement for perhaps a bigger summit at a later date that is a very, very good point. And I would wager that in the next few days, that process is really going to begin. It all looks like it's setting us up locally for a positive move out of the gates this morning as well with those spy futures reflective of that positive momentum, up 33 points currently. Well, for more, I'm very pleased to welcome Jeff Wilson, chairman and founder of Wilson Asset Management, who's live at the desk with us this morning. Jeff, wonderful to have you on. Joining me live at the desk this morning and also speaking at the forum, I'm pleased to say Silicon Valley entrepreneur and co founder of Square, Jim McKelvey. I'm very pleased to welcome Dick Smith into the conversation today. I have to say, sitting down to prepare for the interview today, I was finding it quite difficult. You've had an extraordinary life, an extraordinary career. The self-made billionaire often features on the BRW Rich List here in Australia. I'm very pleased to welcome Jerry Harvey into the conversation with us today. Jerry, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Thank you so much for joining us. Australian shares are set to open lower as Wall Street dips, but ANZ will be a market mover as it gets set to hand down its half-year results today. All the details, Channel 602. Breaking news that we are getting through right now on ANZ. They are just releasing their half-year numbers as expected. Just seeing breaking news from the National Australia Bank. I just want to take our viewers across breaking news that we are getting from Macquarie Group. We have been waiting on this one this morning. Uh, a record result was expected from the group. They had previously guided to net profits of $2.2 billion. <laughs> Welcome back. You're with Live Now on Sky News. Time to check in with Leanne Jones for the latest in business. Leanne, we get a pretty big update on the health of uh, consumers and the household sector with the release of the March retail sales. Any moment now, what are we expecting? 
That's exactly right, Ash. And of course, this is ahead of the federal budget this evening. We do get this update. Just to note that this is for both the month of March and for the March quarter. Now, economists, after accelerating, uh, you know, sales growth for, for retail sales in the prior two months, most economists are expecting to see sales growth slowing down quite sharply in this latest report. So I'm just pulling up these numbers as we speak. Leanne Jones has all the latest from the Sky News uh, Business Centre and she joins us now live. Unpack it for us. What's the result? Look, it looks like it's actually better than expected. You mentioned there the 22,600 jobs that have been created for the month of April. That was better than the 20,000 that was expected. However, cool. if you look at the unemployment rate, that's risen from 5.5% to 5.6%. Of course, we will have all the post-budget analysis with Budget 2018, the verdict, throughout the morning. For more on that budget result, I'm pleased to welcome Danielle Wood, Head of Budget Policy at the Grattan Institute. Live, this is a special Budget 2017 edition of First Edition. Treasurer Scott Morrison's handed down Budget 2017, including a surprise $8 billion hike in personal income taxes. Hello, welcome to The Morning Shift. I'm Tom Connell today, joined by Samantha Maiden, Leanne Jones and Jim Middleton. There's no reason that they wouldn't then pass this on to customers and, and their shareholders. And $14 billion was wiped out of the share mm. market yesterday for those banks. So we did see quite a strong reaction. They're not happy about this. We'll be watching. The, the market's yeah. going to be opening in about 20 minutes. We'll be watching to see whether that it will continues. Be interesting. Anthony Albanese, you talk a, a lot about those measures there that have been put in place and given the, the costs and the details that have been outlined in last night's budget, do you think it's a good idea for the, the government to be bankrolling Sydney's second airport? So, David Crow, just on that, I mean, we know that there's sort of been quite this radical shift to, towards those higher taxes and not based on sort of cutting spending there. In light of that, I mean, d does this budget, in your view, present a much more credible and realistic path back to surplus? Because that obviously is the, the ultimate goal of the government. This is First Edition with Leanne Jones at the Sky News Centre and Kieran Gilbert in Canberra. This is first edition for Tuesday the 9th of May. Also this morning, Montreal in a state of emergency as flash flooding inundates the Canadian city. It's five o'clock in Sydney, seven o'clock in Auckland. This is first edition for Thursday the 11th of May. Also this morning, a new president sworn in to South Korea, vowing to defuse security tensions on the Korean Peninsula. We're off to a break. James Dagger Nixon will be up with you next as we count down to the market's close. Stick around.